If you are a dipper, then listen up. Black Buffalo is the only tobacco alternative that'll give you the same experience as traditional smokeless products, just without the tobacco leaf or the stem. I honestly, I stopped two months ago. I've been on the Black Buffalo train, I've been hitting it hard. I'm a mint guy, I got peach in my hand, but I'm a mint guy. You can use promo code ANSWER at blackbuffalo.com for 25% off your initial purchase. Get it right now. Uh, what's up, I'm Andrew Schultz, I'm gonna answer the internet. Would you jerk off LeBron for all of his athletic ability? Yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't jerk off LeBron for all of his athletic ability? 100%. I'd suck his dick. No, I wouldn't suck his dick. That's yeah, not yeah. true. I wouldn't suck his dick. No, no, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I would, I would definitely jerk him off. Would you kill baby Hitler if it had to be in a very gruesome way? Nah, I can't kill a kid, man. Nah. I'd kill his dad. Or, like, kill his mom. I'd go back one more generation. Because they had to fuck him up, right? They had to do something to make him Hitler. So that's all. It's their fault, too. So, yeah, I'd, like, kill their parents in a gruesome way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could only have knees or elbows, what would you pick? So I'd have to walk, like, Lieutenant Dan. Or uh, elbows. 100% 100% elbows. Yeah, because you can't eat. No, I'm not going to eat like a fucking horse. No, dude. No way. 100%. I think I'd be fine walking around like this. How often do you bend your knees? Uh, I mean, every time you go upstairs. Nah, you go like that. It's like a little penguin. Then you walk upstairs with no 100%. Because if as long as the stairs were wide enough, I could get upstairs. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't really need, after 30, you don't need knees. So, elbows, I would want. If you could wipe one group of people off the earth, what would it be? Does it have to be people, or can we do animals? Uh, give me one on one. What one. group of people off of the earth? Um, yeah, you know, you can, go, you can go genocidal, or it can be like... No, no, I know, I know. I'm obviously not going to pick a race. <laughs> <laughs> uh, throw away my career for a fucking free box of Ask of the Internet? No. Um, uh, fat chicks with short hair that's dyed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fat chicks with, with short hair that's dyed like pink. And I wouldn't wipe them off the earth. I'd just take away their, their fingers so they couldn't tweet. And just make the Internet a beautiful place again. And then as far as animals go, I think we can get rid of most animals. Most of them. I think they're useless, yeah. Most animals. Gotta go. Okay. 100%. How much money would it take for you to strangle a puppy? Um, I'm not doing it. Oh, I thought animals were useless, Mr. Tough Guy. And dogs are, there's like three animals I'm okay with. All right. Cows, dogs, and uh, chicken. Chickens. Eat, eat two and hang out with one? Yeah. I think, but dogs are fine. Dogs are fine. They're good animals. Yeah. They're fine. So We've like been everybody else gone. Cats, I just gone, don't need the money that much. That's my honest answer about it. I just don't need that much to strangle the puppy. It wouldn't sit with me. I could kill a puppy easily. But it's just like I don't want to I have to remove the puppy. It's like, uh, what, what about like I have to uh, clean it up. What about strangle a puppy uh, for like your you achieve all your comedic goals. You're selling I, out like Nah, I'm weird. I like to earn it. I'm weird. I'm like, it's, yeah, it's got to be, so, I got to like save somebody else. Like strangled puppy save my mom. Yes. Strangled puppy save my like family, my brother. Strangled puppy save me. No. Fuck off. Uh, no, I mean like you die or something bad happens to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably strangle a puppy, dude. But then I'd Strangely. fucking make you pay for it, dude. It would be <laughs> bad. It would, I would remind you every single day of the dog that had to die for you. It would be your Just hands. Take a picture of that dog's face every day. I would, get, I would make you tattoo the dog's neck onto your hands so that you would have to look at like what you were responsible for every time you washed your face. Literally the blood on my hands. <laughs> it's just fur. It would be the fur of the neck. Like handprints on fur would be on your, your palms. Yeah. Who would be the world's most dominant one-on-one -on -one basketball player if everyone was forced to play naked? John Sally. <laughs> Dude, John Sally just swinging that grandfather clock of a dick. <laughs> Dude, that guy would be by far the greatest. Let me tell you, hand checking would be back in. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> the only reason hand checking is illegal is because they wear clothes. The second they get naked, it's like, well, maybe we should. You know what I mean? <laughs> would you rather sleep with a sexy midget or a below average regular chick? 
I mean, I'd get the hand job from the Mizzet for obvious reasons, right? Just to see her fucking struggle to hold that thing. But, um, and because they move so quick, they like scurry. Have you ever seen them? Have you ever seen them move? No, no, dude, it's like, they're scurrying. Like, have you ever seen one put on a backpack? Dude, this is, because the backpack's already so close to their back. Like, it's on the ground. Yeah! Dude, it's like when you put a blanket on at night, right? It's just, and I'm covered. And uh, so I think that it would be so quick. But as far as like, you know, any sexual attraction to the, to the midget, I'm, you know, no offense, but I'm not, I'm not big into it. You guys make great reality shows though. It's cool. Um, that'd be funny if you just pan back and there's just a million midgets blowing me right now. It's just <laughs> completely out of the shot. Would you rather spend the rest of your life blind or inside an olive garden? Um, whoa, that's a good one. The rest of your life is in the olive garden? Yeah. I've never been in an Olive Garden. I don't think I have either. But I could, I mean, so like, it's just, well, that'd be a great. Let's say there's a TV there, so you like watch TV. Of a course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe do some Salad, there. I can have show, everything can come to me. It's like being like a, well, like when you're like a cartel boss in jail. Yeah. It's like cartel right. boss in jail. All the food that you want, inside the Olive Garden, hands down. Are you kidding, be blind? Why would you want to be blind? Because you can't see anything anyway. You're basically in the Olive Garden. Right. But then you get to see everything that's brought to you. Would you rather be the best looking dude in the world or be able to read minds? I, I wouldn't want either. Because being able to read minds is horrible. You just, like, think about all the awful shit. Like, do you like going on people's Twitter? That's reading minds. Right? Like, Twitter's awful. It's like, why are you sharing this? What do most people think all day? I'm hungry, I'm sleepy, I'm tired, I feel fat. I feel, you want to read that? Yeah. Like, dude, Professor X, the reason he's in a wheelchair is because he's probably tried to kill himself a million times. So he's reading people's minds. He's just jumping off of bridges. He's just going to isolated places trying to kill himself. He probably moved that fucking coin himself or whatever. Did you guys see that movie? Which made him, yeah, he's like, please put it right here. Dude, Magneto, please, anything. Yeah, I don't want either. If there was stats available, for every aspect of your life, what one stat would you want to see? How many times I've given myself a butt rash by just scratching my ass? My own ass. Like how many, dude, all the time, dude. All the time. Like I'll just scratch through the underwear. Like, and I only give it to the left cheek. For whatever reason, I don't scratch right cheek, but left hand, right cheek, I kind of scratch from hole to up on the cheek. And I want to know how many times I've given my own self chafing. How many times I chafe myself? That's the stat that I want to know. Could you give me a ball? Thousand. <laughs> Thousand minimum. Mi dude. Thousand minimum, okay? I'm working on some like light scabbing now. I gotta let that come down. The second it comes down, we're going raw. Rip it raw. What are the best Starburst flavors? Rank them. It's just pink and everything else. Like this is pink and then everything else, yeah. It's shocking that they don't just make it all pink. No, they do, They're, that's available. Or they do like pink and red. No, no, but they, yeah, I purchased all pink once. Matter of yeah. fact, that was like, so I go to this thing, Burning Man, I'm sure you guys heard of. And like, you're supposed to bring like a gift for people that you meet, you have a cool conversation with. And I just brought pink Starburst only. Who's the worst group of fans? Honestly, the worst group of fans are like, the worst group of fans are any woke group because they're not your fan. They just agree with you. And the second that you shift off course even slightly, they'll be there to cancel you because that is their bread and butter. So those are the worst group of fans. So there's a lot of people out there, like even in my industry, they think they have fans because they're like serving a market. And the second they shift, they don't even realize this, the second they shift, all those people are gonna eat you alive. So those are the worst group of fans, the wokes. Last one. Would you rather have sex with your dream girl once or get nudes from every girl you know? Sex with dream girl once. Do you guys like nudes that much? There's free naked people on the internet. All yeah, look, but along the lines of earning it, like when you get one that's sent to you and only you, I think there's a difference in that. Yeah, but you didn't earn it. Right, but they well, have to do it. The exclusivity of it, though, I think is what matters. You know what I mean? Like it's something that just you see, just you got. Yeah, but you know she's given other nudes to other guys. 
and the nudes she's giving you are the ones from the other guy. I don't even, like back when I was asking for nudes, I wouldn't even ask for what she's wearing now. I was like, go into the vault and Somebody give me the fucking hits. Like, let me know where this goes. Like, I know it's fucking March. You're not in your best shape, neither am I. You know what I mean? But give me so July. July. Yo, I want July. I want Hamptons. You haven't eaten for a week. You're trying to bang this Wall Street guy. Give me that shit. The picture of the pool in the back of the house he rented. Good stuff, good stuff. Bye, guys. This has been Answer the Internet. Peace.